Hello friends, I am Ankit and welcome to my channel. I am here with my daily predictions and analysis for gold, Dow Jones and Nasdaq 100. In this analysis with the help of candlestick charts and indicators, we will try to find out what could be expected from these instruments throughout the US cash session and where should we enter, where should be the take profits and where should be the exits and stop losses. So do watch till the end. Those who are new to the channel, I share my daily analysis, one with the Asia session open that is that also includes US 30, US 100, Germany 14, UK 100, Nifty and gold, silver and oil and natural gas. So do watch that analysis also, press the bell icon and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Let's start the analysis with gold first. So throughout this day, gold has traded in the zone 1940 to 1922 and that is what we I had shared in my daily analysis today morning that this level at 1940 definitely going to be a stronger resistance and the support should be at around 1920-1922 zone. In fact, 1918 should be the great support and precisely traded within this zone. Now look at the daily charts on the daily charts. Right now it is giving higher lows and lower highs. If you see this higher lows and lower highs and that is why I say any breakout beyond 1940 is the only level where you should go long and any breakdown below uh, 1918 is a level below which you can go short but this is the broader level what if it, it tries to trade within this zone itself let's try to find out where we should take an entry here and where we should exit see right now on the daily charts lower highs and higher lows on the daily charts you are not able to find out a good entry it may try to trade in between this levels only now look at this the dpo uh, directional movement is, is is still bullish the stochastic is looking upwards and the macd is still on sell side and running parallel so yes rsi is, is trading in a comfortable levels neither overbought not nor oversold now let's have a look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts you will find that see this is the second red candle after this retracement you can see this is the this is the support here at 1918 minor retracement lower highs that is what we can see on the daily charts also also on the uh, four hour charts you can find the lows are lower lows there so possibly here too we can find that only long entry is beyond this zone at 1933 if it goes beyond 1933 definitely you can take a long entry and you can expect it to rise again however i Still expect possibly it may try to trade within this zone itself and it may try to uh, consolidate a bit but yes any breakout beyond once again I reiterate any breakout beyond 1938 levels is a good level to go long here and you can expect it to fly beyond 1938 levels for sure you can expect it to rise till towards 1945 this is the first resistance zone and beyond that it is going to fly towards 1955 also see these are markets anything is possible and uh, yes a good long entry you have to wait patiently and watch it if it tries to move up you can take an entry there but right now it appears that it might consolidate a bit now look at the indicators on the four hour charts you'll find that see this is widening and still showing that it is bearish and also the stochastic was overbought on the four hour charts looking downwards trying to cool down this a bit and that is what possibly but here we can or we may get a third red candle which might take it towards 1920 again so this is once one probability that below 1928 we can expect it to trade towards 1922 and 1920 levels which are stronger support and below 1918 definitely it will break towards 1915 1912 and below levels so take a long entry a short entry at 1918 that is what we can see and MACD lines are still on buy side on the four hour charts and RSI looking downwards now look at the three hour charts on the three hour charts see on the three hour charts here is another interesting observation this is the support at 1918 now the support is at around 1923 levels so till the time it remains above 1933 there is a resistance at 1932-33 levels as i said and in fact in 1934 so once it breaks 1934 you can take a long entry so then the, now the range is narrowed between 1923 to 1933 levels any breakout beyond 1933 is a good level to go long any breakdown below 1923 is a good level to go short but how far it could rise or how far it could go drop see beyond 1933 you can expect 1937 and 1938 levels to provide a resistance then 1941 will come into picture beyond that definitely it will fly and below 1923 you can expect 1922 1920 and 1918 level, 18 levels to provide a support below that it will definitely drop 
uh, I will give you the levels. Just bear with me for a little while. Uh, three are stochastic, looking downwards. MACD is still on buy side, and RSI is comfortable. Now let's have a look at the two hour charts here. On the two hour charts, see beautifully it is getting the resistance here and resistance here. So yes, beyond this zone at nineteen. 33 you can take a long entry beyond 1933 then you can again expect 1937-38 which is proving out to be a stronger resistance zone see how many candles it uh, this level is standing like a wall out there so yes if it breaks the zone definitely it will fly but yes you can take a long entry at 1933 and then you can expect it to fly a bit and similarly any drop below 1923 you can go short similar expectation a stochastic looking downwards here MACD is had just crossed over on a sell side so i will be cautious and on the daily hourly charts on the hourly charts see this is the retracement minor retracement here to lower highs and higher uh, low higher lower lows and higher lower highs and higher lows that is what is the consolidation and yes 1930 levels and then 1933 levels should be a resistance beyond 1933 definitely you can expect it to rise so take a long entry at 1933 and you can expect a rise there and take a short entry at 1923 similar observation so considering this let me give you the trading levels for the day so i will recommend a long entry as we discussed at 1933 levels at 1933 you can initiate a buy you can expect a target of 1937 and 1939 if it breaks this then you can expect 1941 and beyond that it will definitely fly towards 1947 and 1955 beyond that sky is the limit now similarly on the downside we have to see enjoy both sides swing and we have to take positions accordingly if you see it dropping below 1923 you can initiate a sell there the next target is 1921 1918 if these two levels are taken then you can expect that it is going to head towards 1915 1911 and below that it will drop towards 1906 and 1901 levels till here we can again expect a bounce back so yes probably uh, we can expect it to see trade with a stop loss because it is a range bound day we can expect it to swing between these two levels 1937 to 1918 1920 and we may see it consolidating here in this zone so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at us 100 so this is the early charts for us 100 and you can find this is the support here at 14 to 50 with this support also see there is a strong resistance at 14450 14460 zone i had told yesterday also that this is going to be stronger resistance zone see then lower highs rise consolidated and there is a support here right now at around 14320 so if it you see it trading below 14300 any point of time today definitely you can expect that it is going to break sharply also higher highs and then it is trying to retrace so yes with this support you can expect that possibly it may come down till towards 9, uh, 14 350 levels and from there you can expect it to rise however this zone at 14 350 definitely should provide a support in 14 350 and 14 320 if this zone is taken by us 100 today if it drops below this zone 14 350 to 14 320 definitely you can expect that it is going to drop sharply so take your positions accordingly now looking at the three hour charts on the near time nearest time frame you can find that see lower highs it is trying to give any long entry should be only i'll only recommend a long entry beyond 14 470 480 zone if it breaks 14 480 then only i will recommend a long entry and i'll expect that it is going to remain bullish beyond these levels till the time and in between 14 480 and 14 320 i'll be still cautious within these 160 points i'll be still cautious now look at this the directional movement is in buy side stochastic looking downwards here on the early charts and probably it can enter into oversold position and macd is still on buy side trying to converge and cross over rsi comfortable so looking at the two hour charts here on the two hour charts see uh on the two hour charts you can find that there is a resistance there at 14420 here so any breakout beyond 14420 you can expect a rise and here at 14360 so once it breaks below 14360 you can expect that it is going to go towards 14340 14320 zone this is going to be stronger resistance zone if it breaks 14320 definitely it will go so now we are limiting our entries 
within this zone 14 14 420 14 360 we should not try to take a position and above and below you can get 40 50 points on the either sides looking at two hour charts the stochastic is looking downward so we may see a red candle possibly and you can expect a little drop towards 14 3 uh, 14 340 14 320 zone macd is still on sell side on the two hour charts and rsi is trading comfortable similarly on the three hour charts on the three hour charts you can find that see this is the red candle but higher highs is what we had seen and now possibly see if it tries to give a red candle here we can expect it to come down till at least 14350 zone which is going to be stronger support and 14340 level so the levels the support levels in between 14320 and 14340 are going to be important for us for nasdaq 100 to watch out for and one can you know go short at 14360 but be cautious it may still get a support at 14360 and 14340 so, uh, sorry 14340 and 14320 zone below that it will definitely break sharply towards 14250 and 14200 levels and if you look at the see this is uh, directional movement is still positive and stochastic is looking upwards and macd is still on sell side so mixed indication let's jump towards four hour charts on the four hour charts you'll find so on the four hour charts you'll find that see uh previous candle the bulls lost the control there they tried to pull it back again down however now the support is at 14380 in fact now we are i am reducing the range from 14380 levels and below 14380 one can try to go short and you can expect 14360 to provide a support 14340 uh, to provide a support so below 14380 one can remain short one can expect it to drop towards 14 340 and 320 zone this zone is going to be important for the day and below that you can expect it to drop again strongly as till the time it remains above 14380 possibly you can again expect it to rise however lower highs in the previous candle and the resistance at 14450 also head and shoulders is what we can see here so possibly here from uh, if it breaks 14380 possibly it will come down towards 14 uh 360 and 14 340 zone below that it may break strongly and this is what we can find head and shoulders on four hour chart is what i can observe and hence we have to be a little bit cautious with the longs right now now look at this look at the directional movement is in still bullish four hour charts stochastic is trading comfortable looking upwards but a red candle may try to bring it down a bit and MACD has just crossed over on the 4 hour charts trying to bend or trying to build red candles so possibly you can expect it to drop towards 14 360 340 320 and then below level so right now 14 380 is a very good level to go short if it breaks 14 380 levels then and then only now coming back to the daily charts on the daily charts on the daily chart see lower highs that is what we can see and that is why i say any long entry is beyond this level right now for the day 14 420 you can go long beyond 14 uh, 420 levels and yes once it breaks this zone here at 14 300 320 zone possibly it is going to break again sharply it is going to drop sharply on the downside and why i am looking forward to a drop there see this is first red candle and this is going to be second red candle the tail the wing is uh wick is almost done so possibly if you once you see it dropping below 14 300 you can again expect it to drop and this time the zone at 14 uh, 150 200 should provide a stronger support so this is going to be second red candle possibly if it drops below 14 360 yes 14 380 itself you can take a short entry and if it breaks 14 320 zone definitely it will break strongly so our observations are being confirmed here too on the daily charts still on sell side see it is overbought and that is why i am saying it is to it has to drop and that is why i say possibly we may see a red candle again today and you can expect nasdaq 100 to drop at least till towards 14 240 200 zone possibly so take it long, short entry at 14380 itself and you can trade with a stop loss at 14460 levels and macd is trying to converge the high it has seen already and if you see rsi is comfortable so considering this let me give you the trading levels 
First, let's talk about the long entry. You can take a possible long entry at 14,440 levels. If you see it trading at 14,440, you can go long. You can expect 14,470 to provide a little resistance and then 14,500 to provide a little resistance. Beyond 14,500, it will definitely fly. When I say definitely fly, it means it will try to hit 14,600. 20 levels if it trades above 14500 then and then only else you can take or initiate a short entry any point of time from if you see it trading any point of time here at 147500 you can initiate a short entry also you can initiate a short entry at 14370 here you can initiate a short entry there is a little support at 14360 and 14,340 the next support at 14,340 will come and then 14,320 will come if it breaks 14,320 you can expect 14,260 14,240 and below that 14,180 will come into picture it can drop till here so possibly you can expect that once it drops below 14370 yes you can take short however the important zone for the day is 14340 to 14 420 if this zone is taken then and then only you can confirm that it is going to drop strongly again on the downside towards 14260 240 zone so yes trade accordingly this is all for nasdaq 100 now let's have a look at us 30 look at the hourly charts for us 30 it is clearly coming out of this uh, it is clearly trying to provide a symmetry and possibly uh, it may come down till 34 650 and below 34 650 you can expect it to drop again the next support level will come into picture at 34 550 levels and 34 500 levels so possibly it may try to give you a symmetry here and it can try to possibly drop till towards 34 550 levels that is what we can see here on the early charts on the early charts it is overbought and hence you can expect a drop however the MACD is still on buy side the RSI is near to overbought levels similarly on the two hour charts this is kind of reversal which you can expect but only if it breaks 34 650 levels so if you see it trading below 34 650 you can expect that it is going to get a support at 34 600 here that is the 20 period moving average then 34 550 which is going to be a stronger support so i can expect one can expect that 34 550 can be achieved on us 30 today and from there i'll be watchful if it bounces back then again it it may rise and it is trying to consolidate now look at this on the two hour charts lower highs is what we can see also higher low so for the day 34 550 is going to be a stronger support zone breaking 34 550 you can expect that a huge drop is on the way also look at the indicators on the two hour charts you will find that see directional movement is bullish and it is extremely overbought here on the two hour charts possibly we can see a drop and yes it might try to cross over if it gives a green candle then it can try MACD can try to cross over again RSI right now uh, MACD is still on sale RSI comfortable looking at 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts you will find on the 3 hour charts similarly it is trying to reverse but I will confirm a drop only if it breaks 34650 breaking below 34650 you can expect it to drop also a good long entry is only recommended below 34780 level so if you see it trading below 34780 you can expect it to rise again if you see it trading below 34650 you can expect it to come back to 34550 which is going to be stronger support remember it might hit 34550 but this is going to be stronger support and if it breaks 34550 you can expect it to drop considerably on the downside towards 34400 and below levels look at the uh, um, Directional movement is still in green, overbought on the 3 hour charts, MACD is still on sell on the 3 hour charts and RSI comfortable. Looking at 4 hour charts here, on the 4 hour charts, see after this reversal candle, this is third candle, this is second, two green candles have been done and it is trading in this channel, the high at around 34,780 level. So if it breaks 34,780, that is the level at which you can go long and possibly once it breaks 34,600, and in fact you can take a short entry at 34650 itself 
from there you can expect 34600 at the first support and 34550 at the next support below 34550 34500 will come into picture and below that it is going to break heavily so possibly what it is trying to do is what i can see from here is if you see lower highs uh, higher lows is what we can see so trying to consolidate but yes it may try to form a symmetry and again try to come back towards 34 200 levels in the near future it is what is this is what is my expectation alone now look at the four hour charts it is looking upwards here stochastic the MACD is still on sale rsi is comfortable there and if you see the daily charts now coming to the most important one the daily chart and if you look at the daily charts the daily charts are trying to consolidate the resistance ultimate resistance is at 34800 i told yesterday also 34800 is the ultimate resistance beyond which definitely it will fly lower highs higher lows trying to consolidate within this zone so yes it can try to come back again till towards 34550 and 34450 470 zone today and the highs at around 34 8 uh, 750 levels to remain there itself so a possible long entry yes i will recommend only to uh, go long at 34 780 zone and uh, go short at 34 650 for a target of 34 600 34 550 34 450 470 zone so now i'll give you the levels just wait, uh, wait a bit and it is still on buy side in the directional movement it is extremely overbought on the stochastic on the daily charts probably it may continue in once it is overbought but i'll be looking forward to a drop today and if it breaks below 34 400 definitely it is going to break towards 34 200 so i told yesterday 34 200 400 zone is going to be important for uh us 30 and look at this from here if you try to see it is trying to get the support here so if it breaks 34 400 definitely it is going to break strongly on the downside so i'll be watchful of that and considering this let me give you the trading levels for the first let's talk about the buy levels the only buy level yesterday also i told i will recommend you to take a buy at 34 760 levels and only see this is going to be there is going to be stronger resistance at 34 800 so in between this zone it is going to get a stronger resistance it can reverse anytime from these levels mark my words but if it breaks 34 800 and 34 820 if it breaks this zone it is going to fly towards 34 970 and 35000 plus plus levels it can try to hit 35 100 also if it goes beyond 34 800 820 zone then and then only similarly on the downside if you see it trading below 34 650 i will say 34 640 itself i will keep a cushion there and if you see it trading below 34 640 you can expect it to drop towards 34 600 34 550 34 480 and below that it will try to come back to 34 400 breaking 34 400 it is going to break strongly on the downside towards 34 200 and when i say it is going to break strongly means it will break strongly so take your positions accordingly however you can also initiate a short entry but with strict stop loss at 1820 34820 beyond which it is definitely going to fly so keep your stop losses in place you can take a short entry there with a uh, risk of almost 50 60 points and you can expect it to drop from these levels so take your positions accordingly this is all from my side join my telegram channel if you want to get the same expertise you can be part of my mentorship batch the next batch is starting on 4th of april definitely first invest in your learning then you can become a great trader also you can be part of my premium signals group and reach out to me for any of your trading or training related queries via email or telegram my email and telegram ids are mentioned in the description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you